After an eventful life full of tragedy, as detailed in Part 1, the actress Lana Turner's story takes a shocking turn. She becomes entangled with a man named John Johnny Stompanato Steele, which leads to a murder trial that captivated the world. In this second part, we will delve into every wild detail of this scandal. Born Julia Jean Turner on February 8, 1921. In Wallace, Idaho, Lana's life was filled with turmoil from the start. Her parents divorced when she was young, and she moved with her mother to California. At the age of 16, she was discovered while drinking a soda at a drugstore, launching her film career. Lana's on-screen persona was often glamorous and dangerous, but her real life was even more so. Her relationship with Johnny Stompanato, a known gangster, was particularly tumultuous. The couple's fights were frequent and intense, and on April 4, 1958, one of those fights ended in tragedy. Join us as we explore the events leading up to that fateful night, the murder trial that followed, and the lasting impact it had on Lana's life and career. This classic Hollywood story is filled with drama, intrigue, and shocking twists that you won't want to miss. In the middle of 1957, the actress, Lana Turner, had a chance encounter that would change her life in ways she could not have imagined. As she returned home, she noticed a man in a black Lincoln Continental parked outside her apartment. Part the stranger, who introduced himself as John Steele, was instantly smitten with the actress and began pursuing her romantically. Unbeknownst to Turner, this man was none other than Johnny Stompanato, a notorious gangster with ties to organized crime. Despite her initial reservations, Turner found herself drawn to Stompanato's charm and confidence. However, their tumultuous relationship was fraught with danger, and it wasn't long before Turner's family and friends began expressing their concerns. Throughout their time together, Stompanato's jealousy and possessiveness became increasingly difficult for Turner to manage. Eventually, the situation came to a head in a violent altercation that would make headlines around the world. Despite the challenges she faced, Turner remained resilient and continued to pursue her career in Hollywood. Her legacy as a classic Hollywood actress endures to this day, and her films continue to captivate audiences with their timeless stories and unforgettable performances. As for Stompanato, his involvement with Turner marked the beginning of the end for the gangster. His violent behavior and criminal activities would ultimately lead to his downfall, leaving Turner to move on with her life and career. In the glamorous world of Hollywood, the actress Lana Turner found herself drawn to Johnny Stompanato, a man known for his tall, fit build and dark hair reminiscent of the actor Tyrone Power. Unfortunately, she mistakenly believed that they were close in age, unaware of the significant gap between them. The Los Angeles Police Department had been monitoring Stompanato due to his criminal past and ties to infamous mobster Mickey Cohen. They kept a watchful eye on him to prevent any potential conflicts involving organized crime. Despite their efforts, tensions continued to rise, ultimately leading to tragic consequences. As time went on, it became increasingly apparent that Stompanato's intentions towards the actress were far from pure. Those who knew them could see the danger lurking beneath the surface of their relationship. Meanwhile, law enforcement struggled to maintain control over the volatile situation brewing before their eyes. Lana Turner, the actress known for her striking beauty and dramatic roles, found herself drawn to a man of vague background and profession. His name was Stompanato, and his dark good looks and attentiveness provided a distraction from the actress's tumultuous personal life. At the time, Turner was living with her teenage daughter Cheryl, who spent time between boarding school, her grandmother, and her father, Stephen Crane. Despite the secrecy surrounding Stompanato's occupation, Turner couldn't resist the allure of his charm. He was a welcome change from the chaos that often surrounded her life in Hollywood. Meanwhile, Cheryl continued to bounce between different living situations, trying to find stability amidst her parents' tumultuous relationship. Turner's relationship with Stompanato was marked by passion and intensity, but it was also fraught with conflict. The actress's friends and family worried about the influence he had on her, and his possessiveness and jealousy often caused problems. Through it all, Cheryl remained a constant presence in Turner's life. The actress did her best to balance her career, her relationship with Stompanato, and her role as a mother. But it wasn't always easy, and tensions often ran high. Despite the challenges she faced, Turner remained a fixture in Hollywood for decades. Her films and television shows continue to be celebrated by audiences around the world, and her legacy as a talented and glamorous actress endures to this day. And through it all, Cheryl remained a part of her mother's life, navigating the ups and downs of fame and family with grace and resilience. 
Lana Turner's career experienced a resurgence when she took on the role of Constance McKenzie in the film Peyton Place. This classic drama, released in 1957, brought the actress back into the spotlight and revitalized public interest in her work. As Lana's star continued to rise, she became involved in a tumultuous relationship with Johnny Stampinato, a notorious gangster. At first, their relationship seemed exciting and passionate, but it soon took a dark turn. Stampinato became increasingly controlling and threatening, making violent threats against Lana and her family. Despite the danger she faced, Lana struggled to end the relationship. Stampinato's behavior became more and more erratic, and Lana feared for her safety and the safety of her loved ones. Tragically, the situation came to a head in April 1958, when Stampinato was stabbed to death in Lana's home. The actress's daughter, Cheryl Crane, was later acquitted of the crime, claiming that she acted in self-defense after Stampinato attacked her mother. The scandal surrounding Stampinato's death only added to the public's fascination with Lana Turner. Despite the dangers she faced in her personal life, the actress continued to captivate audiences with her powerful performances on the big screen. In 1957, the actress Lana Turner found herself in a precarious situation. She had been involved in a tumultuous relationship with Johnny Stampinato, a notorious gangster. Seeking a reprieve, Turner decided to travel to London for a movie role, hoping to distance herself from the dangerous situation. Upon arriving in London, Turner began work on a new film. However, her hopes of finding solace were quickly dashed when Stampinato followed her to England. The gangster's presence on set caused a violent confrontation with none other than Sean Cannery, who was also working on the film. Despite the drama unfolding on set, Turner managed to complete the movie. However, her troubles with Stampinato were far from over. On the night of the Academy Awards, Stampinato had threatened and beaten Turner in her hotel suite. In a desperate attempt to protect herself, Turner grabbed a kitchen knife and fatally stabbed Stampinato. The incident made headlines and Turner was forced to testify in court. Despite the media frenzy, she was ultimately acquitted of any wrongdoing. The tragic incident served as a sobering reminder of the dangers of toxic relationships and the importance of seeking help when in danger. Through it all, Turner remained a fixture in Hollywood, continuing to grace the silver screen with her captivating presence. Her resilience and determination in the face of adversity served as an inspiration to many, and her legacy as a classic Hollywood icon endures to this day. The life of the actress, Lana Turner, took a dramatic turn on Good Friday when she became entangled in a violent incident involving her boyfriend, Johnny Stumpanetto. Their relationship had been tumultuous, marked by a series of escalating threats and physical altercations. In an act of protection for her mother, Cheryl Crane, then just 14 years old, stabbed Stompanato with a knife. Following the stabbing, Cheryl was immediately taken into custody, and the media frenzy surrounding the incident began. Reporters and photographers swarmed the scene, eager to get a glimpse of the actress and learn more about the tragic event. As details emerged about the troubled relationship between Turner and Stompanato, the public scrutiny intensified, with many questioning Turner's judgment and parenting skills. The actress herself also faced legal challenges as a result of the incident. She was charged with assault and illegal possession of a weapon, although these charges were later dropped. However, Stompanato's family filed a civil lawsuit against Turner, seeking damages for their loss. The case went to trial, and after a lengthy and highly publicized proceeding, the jury ultimately ruled in favor of Turner. Despite the traumatic events of that day, the actress continued to work in films and television shows, earning critical acclaim for her performances. Her career spanned several decades, and she remains a beloved figure in Hollywood to this day. Nevertheless, the Good Friday incident left an indelible mark on both her personal and professional life, serving as a constant reminder of the dangers and pitfalls of fame and fortune. Lana Turner, the actress known for her glamorous roles, found herself in a legal battle over the custody of her daughter Cheryl. The case was further complicated by the involvement of notorious gangster Mickey Cohen. Cohen, who had ties to Johnny Stompanato, Turner's boyfriend at the time, attempted to sway public opinion in favor of Stompanato. He released love letters between the couple to the media, challenging Turner's portrayal as a victim in the relationship. The letters suggested a deep affection between the two, which Cohen hoped would counteract the negative press surrounding Stompanato's violent behavior. In the midst of this media frenzy, a probate judge made a decision regarding Cheryl's custody. The young girl was placed in the care of her grandmother, while both Turner and Stompanato were granted visitation rights. 
This arrangement was an attempt to provide a stable environment for Cheryl, while also acknowledging the rights of both parents. Despite the turmoil, Lana Turner continued to be a prominent figure in Hollywood, her career and personal life often intertwining in a way that was both captivating and controversial. In 1957, during the filming of Another Time, Another Place, a heated argument between actor Sean Cannery and Lana Turner's boyfriend, Johnny Stompanato, led to a physical altercation on the movie set. This incident resulted in Stompanato pulling out a knife and attacking Cannery, who successfully defended himself. Afterward, Stompanato reportedly threatened Cannery's life, prompting the actress to seek help from the police. Despite the controversy surrounding this event, it did little to hinder Lana Turner's acting career. Later that same year, she starred alongside Juanita Moore in the critically acclaimed drama Imitation of Life. The film proved to be a major commercial success, earning over $4 million domestically and becoming Universal's highest grossing picture for the next 10 years. With its powerful storyline revolving around two mothers, one white and one black, and their daughters struggling to navigate societal expectations and racial prejudices, Imitation of Life resonated deeply with audiences across America. Turner's portrayal of Laura Meredith, a determined and ambitious stage mother striving for fame while raising her daughter alone after being abandoned by her husband, received widespread praise. Her exceptional performance breathed life into this complex character, capturing both Laura's vulnerability and resilience as she navigates personal relationships amidst her pursuit of professional success. Through her work in imitation of life, Turner solidified her status as a talented, an accomplished actress capable of delivering riveting performances that left lasting impressions on viewers. The impact of Imitation of Life extended beyond just box office revenues and critical acclaim, serving as a catalyst for meaningful conversations regarding race relations in mid-20th century America. Its exploration of themes related to identity, self-worth, and sacrifice transcended cultural boundaries allowing diverse groups of people to find common ground through shared experiences despite lingering social disparities. As a result, this classic film remains highly regarded today for its thoughtful approach to tackling challenging issues prevalent during its time period. Throughout her illustrious career spanning several decades, Lana Turner consistently demonstrated her ability to adapt and excel in various roles across different genres. While controversies may have occasionally arisen along the way, they never diminished her commitment to her craft, nor overshadowed her many achievements within the entertainment industry. After her time at MGM came to an end, Lana Turner continued to make her mark in both film and television. In 1965, she tied the knot with Robert Eaton, who was a businessman and race car driver, but their union lasted for just a few years before they called it quits in 1969. During this period, the actress also took on various roles that allowed her to showcase her talent and versatility. One notable project was the TV series The Survivors, which ran from 1969 to 1970. Here, she starred alongside Kevin McCarthy and Ralph Bellamy, playing the character of Holly Thorne, a wealthy widow who becomes involved in a love triangle. This dramatic role demonstrated that Lana could still hold her own against other accomplished actors, even outside of Hollywood's golden age. Aside from appearing in films like Madame X and Perfect Husband, Lana Turner also ventured into theater during the latter part of her career. She appeared in productions like Forty Carats and Medea, further solidifying her status as a seasoned performer capable of tackling diverse projects. Her undying passion for acting ensured that she remained relevant despite changing times and industry trends. Throughout her life, the actress had been known for her tumultuous romantic relationships, often finding herself caught up in high-profile affairs and marriages. However, these experiences did little to deter her spirit and determination. Instead, they seemed to fuel her desire to take on challenging roles and prove herself as a formidable force in entertainment. Even when faced with adversity, Lana Turner persevered and left behind a legacy that continues to inspire aspiring artists today. Lana Turner, the actress, faced serious financial troubles following a scandal that led to significant legal fees and debts. This classic Hollywood star's financial stability was greatly impacted by the situation. However, the release of the film Imitation of Life proved to be a turning point for the actress. The success of this movie helped re-establish her career and provided her with financial security. This film, which was a remake of a 1934 film of the same name, was a major hit and received critical acclaim. 
Imitation of Life tells the story of two widows and their daughters exploring themes of race, class, and ambition. The film's success not only helped the actress both critically and commercially, but it also provided her with a much-needed financial boost. In summary, Lana Turner's financial troubles were alleviated by the success of Imitation of Life, which helped re-establish her career and provided her with financial security. Oh, Lana Turner's life story is a captivating blend of love, career, and theatrical moments. After meeting real estate businessman Fred May in 1960, their whirlwind romance led to a marriage that sadly ended in 1962. During her time with Fred, the actress faced personal challenges, paving the way for new beginnings. Fast forward to 1965. Lana found love again when she tied the knot with actor Robert Eaton, but that period was marred by infidelity, forcing a painful conclusion. Despite the turmoil, Lana remained resilient and turned her focus to the stage, a new chapter in her career. In 1971, the actress embarked on a memorable journey with her live stage debut in the play 40 Carats. This classic drama, featuring her in various roles across the country, showcased her versatility and invited audiences to picture this formidable actress stepping into the world of theatrical arts. Her portrayal garnered mixed reviews, but the journey was a testament to her passion and undeniable thespian prowess. Each city she visited became a canvas on which she painted her story, leaving an indelible mark on both her fans and critics alike. Although the tour was a mix of highs and lows, Lana Turner's resilience and determination are etched in the annals of history, resonating with older adults who appreciate the enduring legacy of this Hollywood icon. In 1971, the actress Lana Turner began a relationship with her hairdresser, Eric Root. Root claimed that Turner confessed to him about killing her former lover, Johnny Stompanato, in a dramatic turn of events. However, the truth behind this allegation remains uncertain. Throughout her life, the actress faced numerous health challenges. In her final years, she battled throat cancer, which took a significant toll on her health. Despite her personal struggles, she remained a beloved figure in Hollywood, with her legacy as a classic film star continuing to endure. Lana Turner's impact on the film industry was undeniable. She appeared in numerous films and television shows throughout her career, leaving an indelible mark on the entertainment world. Her fans continued to cherish her work, even as she faced personal and professional turmoil. As the years went on, Lana Turner's health continued to decline. She eventually passed away in 1995, leaving behind a legacy that would not be forgotten. Despite the challenges she faced in her final years, she remained a beloved figure in Hollywood, with her work continuing to resonate with audiences to this day. Throughout her life, Lana Turner faced many ups and downs, both personally and professionally. However, she remained a true Hollywood icon, with her work continuing to captivate audiences long after she was gone. Her contributions to the film industry were numerous, and her legacy as a classic film star endured despite the personal and professional turmoil she experienced. In 1982, the actress Lana Turner decided to take control of her narrative by publishing her autobiography. This candid account offered a reflection on her tumultuous life and career, both marked by considerable highs and lows. Despite the challenges she faced, Turner received substantial support from her fans throughout her life. This enduring connection with her audience speaks volumes about her resilience and undeniable star power. Throughout her career, Lana Turner captivated audiences with her powerful on-screen presence. Her films, including The Postman Always Rings Twice and Peyton Place, left lasting impressions on moviegoers. Even as she faced personal struggles, her fans remained steadfast in their support. They rallied behind her during difficult times, demonstrating a deep connection that transcended the silver screen. The actress's personal life was often the subject of public scrutiny, and she faced her fair share of criticism. However, her ability to weather these storms and maintain her appeal is a testament to her strength and determination. Her resilience in the face of adversity only served to solidify her status as a true Hollywood icon. Turner's autobiography was an opportunity for her to reclaim her narrative and share her story on her own terms. By doing so, she offered a unique perspective on her life and career, allowing fans to gain a deeper understanding of the woman behind the iconic image. This candid account further endeared her to her audience, who continued to support her throughout her life. In conclusion, Lana Turner's legacy is one of resilience and enduring appeal. Her ability to captivate audiences on screen, as well as her determination to overcome personal challenges, has solidified her status as a true Hollywood legend.
Her autobiography serves as a testament to her strength and a reflection on a life well lived, while the support of her fans remains a testament to her enduring charm, an undeniable star 